Hey guys, it's Juanita and Alyssa, and today we're here to react to The Flash season three, episode eighteen. Yep. Okay. So, um, last week was the musical, so nothing really with Avatar. Uh, Iris and Barry got back on track. They're engaged yeah. for real this time. Wally seems to be a little bit better. Did we see HR? Yeah, we All did. he said was that I'm a good singer, pretty much. Or and he was talking about the breakup, but he didn't really do much. Yes. Um, so last week was just a kind of fun little break and to get all the little, couples on track. Filler episode, so Yeah, but it was good filler. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. it depends on where you stand. Some of you guys seemed to really like it and thought it was a fun break and other people didn't like it. And those people might, in my guess, be more people that are there for the superheroes and are really about cheesy fun musicals. Which is okay. Everyone has the right to their own opinion. Yeah, so. As you can tell, we liked it. So She liked it more than me, obviously, but. I'm a huge musical theater person. I'm a, a media musical theater person. <laughs> she is musical theater light. <laughs> light. Um, so, nothing really to recap, though. So that left you for a fun episode. Check it out for yourself. Make your own opinion. And, um... We'll get into this week, which is supposed to be, what was the promo last week? Something like Abracadabra or something. Yes, Abracadabra, who looks like Lin-Manuel Miranda. I was thinking Abracadabra. Cadaver. Why? <laughs> Abra, Abra, Cadaver. So yeah, let's get into this week's episode. Mr. has four tickets that she can't use to Hamilton. Hamilton. Oh, on the house. I thought that maybe we could make it a double if you were interested. Uh, yeah. We're what the fuck? First weekend in July. Oh. Ah. Why? Does that not work for you guys? Except it, just in case, because it's not yeah. like Hamilton. <laughs> right? Don't say no. Who can't make it to Hamilton? <laughs> Unless you're dead, Alyssa. Exactly. No, 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 no. I'm talking about her sister who said she had four tickets she couldn't use to Hamilton. <laughs> he does. There you go. Let's see. 2017. Hmm. How are things going with your doomed love, Iris West, or your greatest foe, Savitar? You know Savitar? I know everything about him. And you. Well, now we must capture you. Yeah, exactly. What the <laughs> 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 It's pretty drainy. Yes, Gypsy. She came out of nowhere. <laughs> This is cool though. A lot of fucking cards. Yeah. More than we had to build that arch. <laughs> All right, Gypsy, what's, what's the 411? Give us the Disney 411. I spent a few days on Earth 19. I set you up with something. Oh. State of the art. Mm. <laughs> You know, the only thing is, I need a place to crash, so... Just go, um... Gypsy. If that, that is your real name. <laughs> that was like... That needs to happen again. Real soon. Star-crossed lovers from different worlds. Surprising. Beyond your understanding. You make a move, you'll regret it. Do you know how many times I've heard that detective? <laughs> I told you. Caleb, you're gonna need to. Do do you? Freeze him. Oh, damn. This guy. At least he's a formidable foe, you know? Mm hmm. Right, Did that happen? She pressed the button. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe not. All that power, all that speed, and get yourself. This guy is a megalomaniac. This isn't a game or a trick. This is about my daughter's life. And it's my life if you hand me over to that. You were killing people. What do you expect? Put him but in now, Iron Heights. And I'll tell you who Savitar is. 
It would be Gypsy and Iris dies. Oh. Barry. Oh. <laughs> Iris, he's gonna tell us. Barry. Iris, he can save your life. No, you can save my life. Yeah. Not him. Trust me, I want to find out who Savitar is just as badly as you do. I mean, so she's the one that's dying. So yeah. much pain. Walk free just to save my life. He's willing to do anything. What do you want? He's set free. I did not see twist. that coming. Twist! Plot twist of the century and I'm here for it. I came here for something. I told you before, detective. Detective. <laughs> it is beyond your understanding. Make me understand, bitch. This See, is about my daughter's life. people who think they're so smart, but they're like, this they're like, you wouldn't understand. Well, if you were so you smart, you would be able to make people smart. understand. Come on! <laughs> Oh, they're all like in her. Something is in. <gasps> that is season two Grey's Anatomy. Pull through people. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking of fucking uh, Walking Dead. You know how there was like, yes, a thing? Yes, yes, yes. Like stuff on the pole we can put down. I thought, of, <laughs> I thought of the Grey's Anatomy episode where there was two people impaled by a pole and only one of them got to live. Yeah, yeah. There's quite a few pieces of shrapnel inside you, and they look deep enough to pierce your kidney. They're not removed immediately. Uh, guys, we have to get into our hospital. We can't. They're gonna ID here as a medic. Yeah, and not just any medic. Yeah, I warned that we have a firearm for attack with CCPD. Then oh. What are we going to do? None of us are doctors, and she can't operate on herself. We do have another option. Well, what is it? When Caitlin goes meta, her metabolic rate offsets cold tissue destruction. Oh <laughs> no. I'm not gonna take off my necklace. I don't need a hospital. All I need is a mirror and a steady set of hands. No! You feel medic in the royal army, right? What? No, I, I, I've never operated for anyone before. That's okay. Oh, Joe. What the hell were you thinking? Bitch, who the fuck do you no, think no, you no, is? You know, you got a really messed up sense of justice for a cop. Watch yourself. Who? Two bows in my life. One to uphold the law, the other to protect my family. Guess which one takes priority? Who? My. Prisoner. He was my prisoner too, and you're on my earth. He has information that could save Iris's life, so I don't give a damn. Yes! Because this is the no. plot I'm wanted for Joe. Door. You let him out. That is on you, detective. Chance I'll go into shock. Shock. But it's okay. You got this. <laughs> Iris, I mean, please keep doing my job. You better take her to the opera now after this. He's been inside her. You know, Shut a completely up. different way. Turn it. Guys, it's getting up there. It might be a tendon in the way. What if it's not a tendon? Then I will rip this necklace off. No, I would rather die. This is so dramatic. Everybody's getting great scenes this episode. Stitch her up. Can you please stitch me up? Because I think I need to pass out. Yes, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> this goes so lame. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, Wally, Wally. Okay, now he's on furlough and eight. Always one step ahead of us. For one reason, they know what's gonna happen. That is so every true. we make, every trap we try and set, it's all just history to them. They're armed with the future. You going to the future? Well, not anymore. What does that mean? If the answer is that we need to stop Sabotar and save you are in the future, then that's why I need to go. Ha ha, go then. I'm gonna run to the future. Alright, I just have a sense of sense of dread that something's gonna happen. Yeah. Oh. 
necklace off and the desire she becomes good frost. I can't believe this. <sighs> no, it's happening. It's happening. What's what's happening? Oh, Cisco. That's his best friend. Come on. <sighs> That's Someone's ripping the necklace off. Who's it gonna be? Someone needs to. She's getting blue. Maybe not. Maybe not. If they let her die, she doesn't become Killer Frost. Oh my god. But if they do, she lives. Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Stop, that's not what she wanted. I don't care. Oh my god. I'm not gonna sit there and watch her die, okay? Then leave the room. I. Uh... Okay. It's alright, Leia. It's okay. It's okay. Yo, that was fucking fast. Now put the necklace back on. Put it back on. What are you doing? Does it work like that? I don't know. <laughs> This is so bad. Put the necklace on. But what if she, if she puts the necklace back on, she dies? Shit! Kayla. She ain't Caitlyn no more. You kiss Caitlyn goodbye. Oh, what'd you think? I knew someone was gonna be impulsive and rip that necklace off. I mean... I knew it. Why wouldn't they? They weren't gonna let her die. Uh, it would've been crazy if they had changed the future by not letting her live and then she could never become Killer Frost because she wasn't alive anymore. But that would've been sad because they would've lost a friend, but they've kind of already lost her because she's Killer Frost. So there's a, there's a lot going on there. I did not expect that. Then they were having such a good time. They were eating freaking jello. Here's the thing. When they did the ooh, lightning thing, after Barry's like, I'm going to the future. And I like hit my phone and I went, it's too early. It was 8.55. I was like, you know something bad always happens after that thing. <laughs> like some little shoe drop. I was like, so they're like eating the jello. I'm like, I thought maybe someone was gonna come in and try and hurt them. No, then HR, was... like when HR came in, I thought I thought he was gonna be like evil or something. And then she started hemorrhaging, and I was like, "She's good. Killer Frost is here. Welcome." Well, it's we'll see what she does. I don't know. I don't think there's turning back after this. That sucks. I don't think there is. Okay, well, let's go further even into the episode. Barry is going to the future. He's like, I know how I can save her. I'm going to the future. Which is cool because they are always one step ahead because they know what's going to happen. That is true. Like when he said it, I was like, you're right. You're right. It really is unfair. Not, uh, not fun fair. Unfair. Sorry. All right. So, um, so the villain for the week was Abracadabra. And he was using binary uh, nano technology tech to make it seem like he's doing magical illusions. Because it was so far advanced that it seems like magic to us. Yes. Which is cool, and that's like a very, very cool concept. Yeah, it is. He was a dick. <laughs> he, was, he was a dick. He I was. mean, he was a mass murderer. They generally are. Huge dicks. Yeah. So... And he, he apparently knew who Savitar was because in the future it's probably talked about like, oh, Barry <laughs> Allen fought against so-and-so in 2017 and lost love yeah, for life. They apparently have very good archive records. I mean, wouldn't you? Everybody has phone video, just like, doo doo. Yeah. And yeah, oh, before Ira Kadabra left, he talked about um, uh, Savitar. He, you know he was so slick not to use Savitar's real name because he was using real names, Savitar. 
he said Thon, and then he said Zoom, and then when he, he said, said someone said, named DeVoe. When he said DeVoe, I thought for a second, I was like, maybe he slipped up, and then I was like, there's no way. No, DeVoe's a different villain. Yes, he is. His name is, um, um, Tinker? Thinker. There we go. From the Flash universe. We, yeah, yeah. We know that. <laughs> yes. So, um, but he, that, but he didn't say Zoom's real name either, though. Who was? Hunter Solomon. There we go. That's right. Like, oh boy, he was yes. a formidable villain. He like they couldn't really keep up with him because he he was too too smart. He knew, they needed he knew the future. Well, Wally didn't really do anything except kind of keep him busy. Wally's still learning. It's okay, but they needed both. Um, but they needed both Gypsy and Vibe to and Flash to get him. Yeah, Caitlin performed performed surgery through someone on herself. That was nuts. It was it was good though. It was great. That that was a great scene. I like how she like got she came up. She was like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, you're not. I feel like this was a really, really good episode for her. It was. Daniel Panabaker, nice job. Yeah. And it was a really good episode for Joe too. It was. Because Joe is always a strong father figure. That's what he is. He doesn't waver. He knows what he's talking about. He has his convictions. In this episode, you kind of got to see that peeled back a little bit that, you know, he's Before trying Before the law yeah. his family, so... Because underneath his strong persona... Is a father. He loves these kids so much, and he'll do anything for them, so including really letting a bad guy go if it'll help save his child. Remember when Barry told Iris about her being killed in the future? Um, she was like, Barry, you can't, like, let criminals go just to save my life and he's like why why wouldn't i joe would do the same thing joe did, did the same, same thing. thing so i mean barry was raised by that man so it makes a lot of sense but of course he felt the guilt but they caught him soon enough that and nothing yeah, really happened that scene with joe and iris at the end now let's like, see what joe and gypsy yes that was like both of those scenes are great. That one was like, ooh, you got to see Joe get really mad and not drop it like two seconds later. You got to see that anger boil in him, and then you saw him just kind of be like, I have no idea what to do anymore, because what can I do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gypsy, I mean, I understand she was upset about her partner. I mean, but we don't really know her like that, so I'm not going to care. Yeah. <laughs> like, I understand why she's upset, but like, wouldn't you want to help someone else? Not have to feel yeah. that same feeling. Exactly. Ultimately, I, I hope that she was going to get to that realization. She was like, no, he needs to be ended now. And we didn't get the name, so we got nothing helpful in this episode. Well, we got that he's going to the future. Yes. And Killer Frost. I mean, is but that helpful? It's debatable. It's entertaining. Yes. Um. So apparently it's not coming back till April like a month later. So what does that mean? Oh wait, that makes sense. It, it does. Because this was episode 18, so 19 turns one. That makes sense. It's just a long time. It's a long time to go without the Flash. We've done it before. I know we have. It's just sad. Yeah, I mean anything else. We didn't even see HR was gone, Sabotage, we didn't see this episode. Um, Which was fine. <laughs> it was nice seeing Nature come back then. He's like, Lime Jello, yeah. I hate Lime Jello. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's got to be like berry flavored for me. Yeah. Cisco, he just wants some love. Cisco at the end. Oh. Like Cisco was jokey, jokey, good time, making references, and then like Caitlin's dying and he's just breaking down. He is falling apart. Everyone just gave a great performance this episode. Mm hmm. So next week, we're looking forward to seeing the fallout of Killer Frost, of Julian ripping off that necklace. Because it was Julian who ripped off that necklace. I mean, he did what he had to do. <sighs> yes. And Mary deciding to go to the future. We're going to see what that future looks like. Hopefully. Okay, so um, we'll see you guys in and about then, a month. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode. In the meantime, since Flash won't be having Riverdale's coming back this week, so you can watch that. You can check out our Your and Ice videos. You can check out Ruby. Uh, we also have a Q&A video and uh, a Spicy Ramen challenge if you'd like to take a look at those. 
um, if you if you're feeling if you're missing us in that time, <laughs> um, you can follow us. <laughs> You can follow us on Twitter. We post funny little videos. Um, we meme sometimes during the episodes. <laughs> uh, at We Don't Sugarcoat. Uh, that's the same as on our Instagram as well. Uh, if you'd like to follow us there, uh, subscribe down below. Hit a like if you like this episode. Comment and tell us what you thought. Yes. Let us know anything we missed. And we'll see, see you on April 26th, right? Yeah. Peace. Hey guys, it's Juanita. And Alyssa. And today we're here to react to The Flash Season 3, Episode 18. Yep. Okay. So, um, last week was the musical. So, nothing really with Avatar. Uh, Iris and Barry got back on track. They're engaged. Yeah. For real this time. Wally seems to be a little bit better. Did we see HR? Yeah, we All did. he said was that I'm a good singer, pretty much. Or and he was talking about the breakup, but he didn't really do much. Yes. Um, so last week was just a kind of fun little break and to get all the a couples on track. Filler episode, so Yeah, but it was good filler. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. it depends on where you stand. Some of you guys seemed to really like it and thought it was a fun break and other people didn't like it. And oh. those people might, in my guess, be more people that are there for the superheroes and aren't really about cheesy fun musicals. Which is okay. Everyone has the right to their own opinion. Yeah, so. As you can tell, we liked it. So She liked it more than me, obviously, but. I'm a huge musical theater person. I'm a, a medium musical theater person. <laughs> she is musical theater light. <laughs> <laughs> light. Um, so, nothing really to recap, though. So that left you for a fun episode. Check it out for yourself. Make your own opinion. And, um... We'll get into this week, which is supposed to be, what was the promo last week? Something that's like Abracadabra or something. Yes, Abracadabra, who looks like Lin-Manuel Miranda. I was thinking Abracadabra. Cadaver. Why? <laughs> Abra, Abra, so yeah, let's get into this week's episode. Mr. has four tickets that she can't use to Hamilton. Hamilton. On the house. I thought that maybe we could make it a devil if you were interested. Uh, yeah. We're what the fuck? When? First weekend in July. Oh. Ah. Why? Yeah, does that not work for you guys? Accept it just in case. Cause it's not yeah, like that's it. right. Don't say no. Who can't make it to Hamilton? <laughs> Unless you're dead, Alyssa. Exactly. No, 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 no. I'm talking about her sister who said she had four tickets she couldn't use to Hamilton. <laughs> oh, he does. There you go. Let's see. Ah, 2017. Hmm. How are things going with your doomed love, Iris West, or your greatest foe, Savitar? You know Savitar? I know everything about him. And you. Well, now we must capture you. Yeah, exactly. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty drainy. Yes, Gypsy. She came out of nowhere. <laughs> This is cool though. A lot of fucking cards. Yeah. More than we had to build that arch. <laughs> Alright, Gypsy, what's with the what's the 411? Give us the Disney 411. I spent a few days on Earth 19. I set you up with something. Oh. State of the art. Mm. <laughs> You know, the only thing is, I need a place to crash, so... Cisco, um... Gypsy? If that is your real name. I was like... That needs to happen again. Real soon. Star-crossed lovers from different worlds. It's Beyond your understanding. You make a move, you'll regret it. Do you know how many times I've heard that detective? <laughs> Told you. Caleb, you're gonna need to. Did you freeze him? 